What's going on, y'all? I got one for my sports people. They say when I make these sports videos that I'm at my best. Well, I'm back with another sports video for your ass. All right. Now, I was wrong about the Lakers, but remember in my video what I said. They're going to give it to LeBron. The only other person I see them giving it to is the big white dude. But I said, I don't think he's big enough yet. Well, I was wrong. Because guess who they guess who they gave it to? They gave it to Jokic, right? They're blowing him up like he's the best thing since sliced bread. He's better than Wilt and all these other people. Even though every time he goes to Philadelphia... The other guy doubles him in rebounds and in points. But he's the best one, right? Yeah, he got the ring. The ring's the most important thing because it's a team game. So, yeah, he's winning in that department when it comes to Jewel and B. But when they play head-to-head, -head, who wins? So if, if Joker is better than Wilt and all these other guys, then, then who is Jewel? Because every time they play head-to-head, -head, all that circus shot shit, I'm bigger than you so I can just throw it up and make it go in type shit. That shit don't work. Do it. When you meet someone your size, all that shit don't work. Do it. That guy in Philadelphia got you. Yeah, you got the ring, but the guy in Philadelphia beat you head on head. Now, what I really want to expose is how modern day players are blew up to be better than the real people who really put down the groundwork and really had to scratch tooth and nail for their stats. You see what I'm saying? In this era, you're running and chucking and throwing up the ball. You're throwing 33s a game, right? You're throwing up way more shots, which equals way more points, way more rebounds, way more assists, way more everything. So when you look at it on paper, I gotta break this down slow. When you look at it on paper, oh, look at all the rebounds and all that. He's, he's the best ever. Nobody's ever done this. But you forgot one thing. They're running and chucking the ball up constantly. So, yes, you're going to get more rebounds. Yes, you're going to get more assists and steals and all this other shit. Because it's made to be more entertaining now. That's why you see the stats blown up now versus Jordan's era or Montana's era. If Brady throws the ball 60 times a court, he better have 300 yards. He's 48, and look at him. He got 300 yards. Yeah, but he threw the ball 60 times. Montana threw the ball 12 times and got 300 yards. What is your point? This is what y'all not looking at, man. But when you argue these things, oh, you don't know what you're talking about. Brady the best ever. How is Brady the best ever, dog? Anybody could throw the ball 60 times and get 300-something yards at 40 years old. I don't give a fuck who you are. Let me ask you a question. What happened when Brady was exposed for Spygate? What happened to those rings? Them rings just started to disappear, didn't they? Them rings didn't come back until after Ray Lewis and then retired. And Brady was playing with college kids. And Spygate was no longer to be found anymore, which it probably still was going on somehow. They probably had somebody behind the scenes or something. Once a cheater, always a cheater. They just probably found a different way to do it, but they probably still was always cheating. Anyways, what happened to all those rings after Spygate? Why did they just disappear like that? Huh? Brady's the best ever, though, right? Well, if Brady's the best ever, because of his stats, then that means Emmitt Smith is better than Barry Sanders. That means Emmitt Smith is better than Barry Sanders because, according to y'all, the stats is what makes Brady better, right? That's what y'all saying, the stats. But the stats are overblown because back when I used to watch basketball, you didn't see someone shooting 33s in a game. You didn't see all these shots. So when you shoot all these shots, that means more rebounds, more assists, more whatever, which blows up the stats more. You did not see Joe Montana throwing the ball 60 times for 300-something yards. He threw it for 12 times, 15 times, 20 at the most, and still 
got 400 yards. Which one's better, throwing the ball 20 times for 400 yards or throwing it 60 times like Brady doing for 400? I'm waiting on y'all answer because, you know, when we don't think and we just go with what the media say, it makes us look dumb. So that's why I'm asking y'all the dumb question. Which one's better? Since Brady's better than Montana, why the fuck he need 60 passes to throw uh, 400 yards? Just wonder. Make it make sense, people. It don't make sense. It don't make sense. You can't put Jokic over all these great players in the NBA that had to really scratch for every point and every basket and every rebound versus this stat padded air that is catered to entertaining the fans. This is why they want the teams to score more points and, and do all these other things. Uh, 30 points in a football game. When did that happen in Montana's era all like that? It didn't happen like that. You lucky to get 10 points because it was real back then. And your boy Brady, after Ray Lewis and then retired, he started playing with college kids. He wasn't playing against Lawrence Taylor and all those other greats or Ray Lewis. He was playing against college kids, man. That's like a, a person taking candy from a baby, basically. I give all credit to the new era players. It's not they fought that they live in this era. But when you look at their stats, that shit really got to be broken down. Again, if I'm shooting the ball, if a team is shooting the ball 100 times versus 50 times, there's going to be more rebounds. There's going to be more steals. There's going to be more of everything. Because every time a ball is missed, somebody got rebounded, right? Right or wrong? I'm asking for the people who love the stats. If so, and, and you know why I don't go with this stat shit? I can kill all this stat shit in one point. If stats matter, that means Barry Sanders is not as good as Emma Smith. And anybody with a brain can literally see Barry Sanders is clearly better than Emmitt Smith. But guess who got the stats? Guess who got all the rings? It's not Barry Sanders. So if that's the case, so what are y'all saying? Are y'all saying... I, I want people right here now today to say that Jokic is the GOAT and LeBron's the GOAT and all that other shit. I want y'all right here now to say that Emmitt Smith is better than Barry Sanders or Jim Brown or Walter Payton because that's what y'all saying because stats matter so much to y'all. Stats matter so much to y'all. Oh, and let's get, let's go to rap. Let's go to rap for a second because that's why Eminem's the GOAT because of record sales. Again, the same thing. You guys are saying because someone sells more than the other person that that makes him the best artist. We know that's not true. It might play a part, but it's not the truth, man. Y'all are so caught up on stats so damn much because the media makes y'all believe, well, if he got 12 re or if he got 20 rebounds and this, he's the best ever. That's bullshit. And not to be funny, but we all know when they get their great little white hope, they blow them past every black person ever. Like like Tyson Fury, another one who y'all say Muhammad Ali can't beat. You're smoking crack, man. You really think Tyson Fury will beat Muhammad Ali because he beat a, a, a person who started boxing at 20. Wilder, who only got power. He's not a boxer. He only got power. So now Tyson Fury beating Muhammad Ali and everybody else. But all he do is fight his friends and negotiate fixed fights. He won't fight no. Uh, he won't fight that that one white dude from uh, Ukraine. He won't fight him. He won't fight people who actually know how to box. But he's the greatest ever, and he'll beat Muhammad Ali and all of them. Do you not understand how boxing was back then? They the best fought the best. It wasn't all this steroid shit and all this other shit that you're seeing, man. But I'm gonna let y'all believe what y'all want. It's y'all generation. So a younger person, of course they're going to say that this person is better or that person is better. But a lot of these videos are exposing younger people who go back and watch Jordan's highlights and shit. They're like, man, I'm sad. I'm, I'm upset with myself for believing that LeBron was actually better than Jordan or et cetera. I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I like LeBron. He's number two. And really, that really he's not better than Kobe. If you really want to know the truth, I just like LeBron better. But see, I'm able to admit that, hey, I just like this person better, but I know he's really not. Y'all can't do that. that that's Achilles heel to y'all. I know that Kobe is true. I know Kobe better than LeBron. I can admit that, but I don't like him better. It is what it is. I just don't like him better. I like LeBron better. I'm from Ohio, etc. But nah, man. Y'all blowing Jokic up way too much. One, what? He's only been, what, five seasons so far? Let him finish out his career, then we'll see. But even then... 
the NBA has made it easier to score for uh, the players because they want the entertainment aspect of it. It's still a business. It's still a product. They got to keep people entertained. So that's why you see 120-point games by teams that are trash. Back in Jordan's era, you'd be lucky to score 90 points. Like I said, they really had to scratch and claw for every rebound, every point, all that. It wasn't no run and chuck. He shot 10 threes. Ain't nobody shooting no damn 10 threes in Jordan's era. Not one player shooting 10 threes in one game. That's just that run and chuck shit. So yeah, your stats are going to be padded. You're going to get more, uh, you're going to get more, um, more stats. Just like in the Brady era, uh, more pass attempts, more tackles, more interceptions, more whatever. It, it raises the chances of you being able to pad your stats even more. So all y'all new generation people, yeah, yeah, it's y'all generation. It's y'all time to shine. But stop trying to shit on my generation, man. My generation did it the best, dog. There's no way you can say it. And if anybody can say that they had it worse or harder, it would be the generation before, the 70s and the 60s. I don't even argue with them. Because I already know these motherfuckers knocking out tooths and shit, playing with broken legs and broken arms and shit. LeBron hurt. He missed 12 games and shit. That's another thing. Jordan uh, is not as adorable as durable as LeBron, but Jordan plays way more 82 game seasons than LeBron. He missing 30 games a season and shit. So who's really more? Who's more adorable? I'm not gonna argue with this shit no more. I really don't give a fuck to be honest. Everybody's great in their own right, but to me, it's Montana and, and fucking uh, Jordan, man. And as far as the big man, I still say Shaq, maybe, for now. You know, uh, Jokic, hey, who who he got besides the guy in Philly? And we know what happens when Jokic meets up with someone his size in Philly. We know what happens. So don't play like you didn't see what happened when Jewel B played against Joker. Uh, Joker. He doubled his points and doubled his rebounds, and that was head to head. So you can't make up excuses and this and that. Yeah, Joker got the ring. Fine, it's a team thing. The the ring is the ultimate goal. I give you that. But don't be acting like Joel B is just some scrub that you know Joker just shit on because Joker didn't shit on him when they played head to head. Joker did, Joker got shit on. He didn't shit on the guy. So don't say he's the best in the league when he can't even shit on the guy that that uh, he plays against. The, you know, the MVP of the league. And another thing, he, he's a real MVP. This is what y'all say. He's a real MVP. But yet when they play head-to-head, -head, the guy who won the MVP award shits on Joker. So how is Joker the MVP when every time he plays against the best, he gets shit on? When Bird played Magic and all this other shit, they went to war with each other to show who's really the best. I'm not going to say I'm the best, but every time I play against someone who says they're better than me, they shit on me. But I'm the best because the public say it. No, it don't work that way. It don't work that way. Y'all can say what y'all want, man. Until I see Joker shit on ULMB, that is the best center. Because every he doubled his stats and his rebounds, dog. Now, Joker got the ring, though. I'll give you that. He got the ring. He got the ultimate prize. He got the ultimate prize. But individually... It's like this. Joker won the uh, the war, but Jew and Levine won the fight, basically. Or however you want to say that. Y'all know what I'm talking about when you say you won the war, you didn't win the fight type shit. It's basically like that. But I just want y'all to know that the stats are being blown up, man. So if you're going to say that this person is better than Jordan or Montana or something like that, you really can't go by stats. You can't say, oh, well, Tom Brady got... 100,000 passing yards. Yeah, but look how long Tom Brady played. Look how long it took. And look at how many passes he's throwing a game now. Back in my day, they probably attempted like 400 passes a season. Now they doing it, they doing 60 passes a game. Times that by 16. And y'all said this makes these people the best? No, man. Quality quality doesn't Quantity never beats quality, ever, ever. You can have 20,000 hoes and I got one queen. Who really winning? Who really winning? Let's be honest about it. Quality never beats quantity. Or, wait, how's, I said it wrong. Quality always beats quantity, always. Who did the best body of work in 10 years? You can have that 20 year shit, right? You can have all the stats and all that, playing against college kids, whatever. I'm not going to keep saying this shit over and over. 
Plus, Joker is in a good position to where he's not playing against, you know, Will and all of them had to play against each other. Kareem and all of them, they had to battle the best. Who was Joker playing against besides one guy in Philly? And we know what happens when he comes up against this guy. You know what I'm saying? So until then, I don't want to hear no argument about who's the best in the league, right? Until I see Joker beat my dude, but who did it better? Just like your boy. I think I lost offline for a minute. I was talking about how until they play one-on-one -on -one and whoever proves the best is the best. But just like uh, your boy Brady is, how can I say this shit? He's more successful. Brady's the most successful quarterback. That'll make him the best. That'll mean you the best. There's people who got more rings than Jordan. Robert Ory got more rings than Jordan. Is Robert Ory better than Michael Jordan? I'm just wondering. Since y'all go by rings and stats so fucking much, does that mean that the player's better? No, it don't. And we all know that Barry Sanders is better than Emmitt Smith. So I'm going to keep pulling that shit out of my pocket every time y'all come with this stat bullshit. Barry Sanders is clearly... It's not man Ray Charles can see it. He's clearly better than Emmett Smith. Guess who got the rings? Guess who got the stats? Right? We know Barry Sanders walked away ahead of Emmett Smith. He was ahead of Emmett Smith, and Emmett Smith started the year before Barry. And Barry still passed him. But yet, in the history books, you're gonna look and you're gonna say, ah, oh, Emmett Smith was better than Barry Sanders. Look at that. Nah, I don't think so, bro. Y'all have a good day though, man. I'm not gonna keep arguing with y'all over this shit. You know, the Tom Brady scripted Vegas telling the Falcons that they got to lose and shit. Hey, I'm not arguing with y'all over that shit, man. We know what time it is, man. And another thing before I go, like, a lot of that shit do be scripted by Vegas because I ain't going to get into it. I ain't going to get into it because I don't want to ruffle people's feathers about race and all this other shit. But we know what time it is. Oh, yeah. And, and Patrick Mahomes. I'm tired of y'all saying that shit too. You know, you all oh, Patrick this and, and, and Brady's better. And man, if you want to go by stats, Patrick Mahomes is the GOAT right now. He's going to beat Brady's stats. Since y'all like stats so much, see y'all Brady fans, you move the goalposts every fucking time you turn around. First is about stats and all this. Okay, well, that makes Brady the GOAT then. Well, look at this. Look at Patrick Mahomes versus Brady at 28. Oh, no, no, that don't matter. No, nah, motherfucker, it does matter. Remember? You said Brady's the GOAT because of stats. So if that's the case, then Patrick Mahomes about to ki kill that. Patrick Mahomes about to be the GOAT. It ain't even going to be close. Because y'all said stats make the GOAT the GOAT. So therefore, your boy Patrick Mahomes is about to shit on Brady. And we know, man, like Kanye West said, we know they told uh, Mahomes that he couldn't win against Brady. We are, man, come on, man. Not one touchdown. We talking about Patrick Mahomes, the motherfucker throwing the ball and looking somewhere else and shit. But he can't score one touchdown. I'm not buying that shit, man. But whatever. You Brady fans going to get your rocks off because the fucking bullshit-ass NFL wanted Brady to win. We already know what time it is, man. But we know who really better. Patrick Mahomes, way better quarterback than Tom Brady. Not even close. Not even close. But you know what's funny, though? When it comes to Mahomes, he still got to prove shit. That's what, that's what y'all Brady fans saying and y'all Yokus fans be saying. You know, Patrick Mahomes, he still got to prove shit. And y'all love to say that uh, this person got a better, higher IQ than all the black players and shit. I know what you're doing. You're going to try to smooth it off and act like that's not what you're saying. But I peep game. Always saying they smarter than us and all that. I see all that shit. Don't, don't think I don't. But either way, you move the goalpost. You say that, you say that your boy uh, Patrick Mahomes uh, got so much to prove. So He's not better than Brady yet. Yeah, he got so much to prove. Well, motherfucker, Yoke has got shit to prove too. He ain't done yet. He just now started. So I'm done with this shit, man. Y'all have a great day, though. Keep supporting this channel, man. I, I appreciate all the supporters and all that shit. But, you know, all this go post moving shit and it's false flag and shit and pump faking and shit. Stop all that, man. Stop all that. And if we go and buy stats, Patrick Mahomes to go. And another thing, y'all don't want to give Stephen Curry no credit either. That's another thing that be pissing me the fuck off. You know what I mean? Y'all be tripping, man. Y'all be tripping, man. How you not going to have Curry... He changed the shit, man. He's the best shooter ever, but yet and still he's not in the top five. That don't make no sense whatsoever. How you the best shooter ever to touch the basketball, but you're not in the top five. That makes no sense to me. You know what I'm saying? It makes zero sense. But stop moving the fucking goalposts when it comes to this, 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 these debates, man. Because 
if stats make you the GOAT, like you say Brady's the GOAT, then your boy Mahomes is already about to shit on that. And don't forget about that guy in uh, Cincinnati, too. He, he not far from that shit, either. And another way they moved the goalposts was Allen and Cam Newton. They both doing the same shit, but one is some great guy, and Cam Newton is just some thug dancing around. Y'all kill me with this shit, man. I just laugh at y'all, man, but I'm done talking. I'm about to hit this gym. We already know what time it is. People are here for Chris, and they always will be. But for now, it looked like your boy Mahomes might be the GOAT, you know what I mean, if we're going to go by stats. But again, stats are misleading because they pass way more than they did back in the day. And in basketball, they shooting way more. So more shots equal more rebounds, more assists, more whatever. I'm done talking. Have a good day, y'all.